Welcome to our Fox 47 Neighborhood Game of the Week. We're in Williamston as the Hornets were hosting Hazlitt tonight. We talked all week about how much these teams knew each other. Just 10 miles separates the two high schools. These kids grew up with one another, they know one another, and they even play on the same lacrosse team in the springtime. We knew it would be a close game. Both coaches knew it would be a close game, and well, it came down to the final possession. Williamston and Hazlitt battling it out on the gridiron tonight. In the first, a beautiful opening drive from the Vikings. Get it all the way down to the one. Nakia Mockery punches it in. Then second possession. D'Angelo Fitzpatrick gets the screen pass from Isaac Pavona. Slips one tackle, finds an opening, and he's off to the races. Breaks one more tackle, and that's all the space he would need. House call, 94 yards. Ran that one all the way back to Hazlitt. 14-0 Vikings on top. Jump ahead second half now. It's a mockery again around the right side. Untouched, scampers in for six. Just like that, it's 20 to nothing. But this Williamston team wouldn't go away without a fight. Alex Peterberg throws one all the way up to the moon. When it comes back to earth, it ends up in the hands of Noah Dunkel. He's all alone, just green grass in front of him. In for six, and we got a game. But then Nakia Mockery. Slips one tackle, and we know he's dangerous in space. Everybody knows he's dangerous in space. No chance catching him. His third touchdown of the game. This one's 77 yards in for six, 27 to six at that point. But this is a rivalry game for a reason. Max Kunkun catches a 15 yard pass, and it's down to a two score game. Then Dunkel again, slips a tackle around the outside gets a block and gets in for six. That would make it 30 to 20. But one last possession for Williamston. It's Dunkel again, but just too little, too late for the Williamston offense as Hazlitt's able to run out the clock on the last play of the game and take this one by a final of 30 to 27. Every time you play Williamson, you know it's going to be a barn burner down to the end. I don't think we've played more than a one-score game with them in recent memory. So uh, when it comes down to it, you know you know what you're going to get. And there's a lot of emotion, and our kids played super hard, and they fought through some highs and lows in that second half, and I'm super proud of for the way they finished that game. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. You know, Williamson, we had this game circle for the past year. Um, we've been trying to focus on beating Williamson. You know, it's been up in our locker room. And, I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, my performance, I couldn't have did it on my O-line, to be honest. Great blocks all around and my wideouts too. That's what kind of got me loose, you know. I can kind of finish it off if they do that for me, so. So Hazlitt gets its first win over Williamson since 2016. They just have two losses on the year with just two weeks to play. That does it for this week of the Neighborhood Game of the Week. We have just two weeks left. Go on our website to fox47news.com and send us to our Game of the Week next week. Reporting in Williamson, Thomas Cook, Fox 47 Sports.